My name is Chad Simon, and I'm a singer and songwriter. When you see people inspired by your music and inspired by a song you're singing, it's something special to know that you you kind of feel like you're the chosen one. You know, you're one of the chosen ones that is that, be, that needs to become a vehicle for people um, to be inspired by something. So you got music and you got the people and you this thing in the middle just getting it to them. You're a medium, you know. And once you realize that and you realize the power of that, um, and then when opportunity meets up with that, you you just know that this is what you need to do. You breathe new life into me, filled with raw emotion. We compromise and now we better, stronger. The first song I ever sang was uh, a Stevie Wonder song. Ebony and ivory live together in perfect harmony. And I was probably 11 years old at yeah at my my late grandmother's 50th for the first time everyone just went quiet my entire family went quiet and they looked and they were like oh okay he sings Loving you is easy. I think I was fortunate because at the beginning of my career, um, myself, my brother, um, a producer, and uh, probably I could call this guy an online marketing guru, got together and we started a business. Um, we started a little label in Cape Town at the beginning of my career. So I all, when I dropped my first song, uh, probably about six months later, we had an infrastructure. And fine, we were learning as we went along, but we had uh, a, a member of the company that was clued up with every to every single part of what you need to know about the music business. If your peers and the people around you don't inspire you, if they don't challenge you, if they aren't better than you at certain things, then chances are you're not growing as much as you could be. My, um, my advice is education and research. Um, just because you're in an artistic field doesn't mean you need to sit back and just feel like, oh, I can just make music. Because in this day and age, there's always someone that is making music just as good as you are, but is pushing harder. If you take even the, 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 the Boza platform, you have the opportunity to really just get your music, to, uh, you know, heard. Just over 60% of our um, people here are, have mobile phones. And you know, um, and just with the success of Moby sites and just all the digital platforms being available on your cell phone, I think it's a really good space to be in. Um, there's a song I did uh, in 2012. Uh, we put the song on SoundCloud and, and we just kind of left it. And I checked a few months later and it was sitting like over 10,000 listens. And then people had taken that song and put it on their SoundClouds. And I went to a few SoundCloud pages and those people had about five, 6,000 listens on the same song. I feel with, you know, with digital now, one of the biggest challenges is um, uh, just education. The misconception is that you have to have a credit card and they don't know you can get vouchers these days. They don't know about is it PayPal and things like that, you know. Um, so I feel like um, as artists, we, we have to do our bit to educate people. I don't get a stable salary, but the more I put in, the more I get out. So for me, live shows are so important. Like, how do we make this song turn into 20 live shows, 30 live shows because of that song, you know? And all the things in between, you know, marketing, media, publicity, um, radio plugging, music videos, all those things are just between us. But, you know, how do we, we, we look at the bottom line? Um, so think things through um, all the way from the beginning from conception, you know, from getting the song recorded and written to uh, having a sustainable career because of a song. You know, we, we'll all face challenges in the industry. Uh, some will face business challenges, some will face financial challenges, some will face physical or health challenges. Um, in uh, 2011, I was involved in an attempted hijacking um, and I was shot 
uh, and I was rushed to the hospital and the bullet had hit five of my organs and it was a really, really serious thing. And, you know, thank God I'm here. Um, it could have gone either way. Um, but long story short, it put me out for about seven months. So I feel like sometimes you feel like you have a small setback, like radio rejecting your song. Just know that there's someone out there who's been through a lot, lot more. Um, and I feel like if I can persevere, the next person can. I chase the world for you, I'd even swim the ocean. It's so easy to love you, yeah. You my long-term goal is to be able to travel the world, just myself and my guitar and play shows and sing my songs to people in Africa, in Europe, in Asia, in South America, in North America. Just myself and my guitar and a mic, intimate venues, 60 seaters, max 200, 300 seaters, and just play my songs to people who get it. That's my long-term goal.